hard can it be? Oh, let's find out. Welcome back, you beautiful people. BMX racing or bicycle motocross. We've never ventured into this world of cycling on the channel before. Today, we're gonna find out what it's all about. Oh. So how does BMX racing work? At a race meeting, riders will take part in a series of races to decide the winner. Each race features eight riders competing in a battle to be first across the line. The format of a race meeting gets a bit complicated. Each rider will take part in three heat races, known as motos. Riders score points depending on where they finish. The 32 riders with the highest points after their heats make it through to the quarterfinals, four races of eight riders. The top four riders of each quarterfinal goes through to the semifinals, two races of eight riders. The top four riders of those semifinals will make it through to the A finals to get the ultimate winner, final race of eight riders. Right, the steed, before we get into all the nitty gritty going fast and stuff, this is the bike that I'm gonna be riding. This is a GT Pro Speed. It's a XXL frame, so that's massive. It doesn't feel massive compared to my mountain bikes, but the race bikes are really long in these, in these parts of the world. But uh, you've got 20 inch wheels. They are 1.75, pumped up to the max, which is 75 PSI, which I'll be running. The gear ratio on this thing is 45 four to 16. Ah, uh, that sounds big, but we'll find out. It's got five gears. It hasn't actually, it's only got one, but it has like a gearbox ratio thing going, one, two, three, four, five, and reverse, but I don't know what that's all about. There's no dropper. There is a hydraulic brake on here, on the rear, which I don't think I'm gonna be using that much, I hope. Maybe, maybe on the end, when I cross the line, because I don't know how fast I'm gonna be going. Bars are really high, super high rise, but it's a BMX bar and it's an alloy frame. And that is it, super basic. Oh, and I thought I'd try clips. So I could put my disco slippers on, uh, my Cinderella shoes, and uh, we'll see how I get on with them. I might revert to flats, don't know. Practice day today. Full face, goggles, full sleeves, trousers, clips, potentially flats, we don't know, uh, yeah. <laughs> the bike is so twitchy, it's ridiculous. I thought I'd pedal and I was doing that. I felt like if you're in the UK, you get these little dogs, they're called Churchill dogs. They're on the back passenger shaft of a car and his head is constantly doing this. That's what I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, that's knackering. Hey, oh, oh. that is horrible. Just gonna jump in there, though. I did a jump. Left the ground. I left the ground. I don't know if that's fast enough. Fast, but I left the ground. Pretending it's summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? So I've come to Gosport BMX Racing Club for a little bit of help. This is John, everyone. Thank you very much, John. Hello. Hi. Much appreciated for this. And thanks for bringing the bike. Yeah, a nice bit of kit. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, before we get kicked off, who is John? This is John Twitchin, presenter on BMX Race Hub on the YouTube. BMX coach, Bournemouth BMX club representative, South Region BMX talent development leader, former British BMX champion in 1992, and Southern School cyclocross champion in 1990. And that was done on a mountain bike, my ad. A man worthy to be called coach and to give me a few pointers on how to race BMX today. Disgusting. Oh, that's nasty sound, isn't it? it it's, it's very loud, yes. It's intimidating. Yeah, it is, it is. Um, right, this is where it all starts, right? This, this is where it kicks off. Literally. Yeah. This is the start, um, and that's your instruction to get going. 
And I reckon this is where we should start. Okay, let's do Just that. A bit of gate practice. Let's do that. Because I, do, I don't do much of it. <laughs> Any tips? Um, well, let's get you on the gate. Okay. Um, nice and tall and strong, all those things. So, um, okay. yeah, we'll start with that. All right, so get those pedals level and try and stand up a bit more. That's it. And then we want your heel up a little bit. Just tip your knee in slightly. That's it. Can you move your weight back a little bit? We're ready to go. So that's a really good position. <laughs> it's on the edge, right? It's on you'll, the edge. You'll get used to it. You oh. will get used to that balance. So um, yeah, we'll get into the sequence and um, <sighs> why don't we drop it and see how you feel? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Attention. Okay, riders. Right up start. Riders ready. Watch the game. Well, How did you do? not bad, not bad. Uh, reaction time is that of a dirt jumper, <laughs> um, uh, but we can work on that. Good position. Uh, yeah, main thing is going to be reaction time. I was lift split seconds too late. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were. Uh, a little probably, bit late. Probably about half a second, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because uh, it's all on timing leaps yeah. and that now. So at the bottom of the hill, just <clears> onto <throat> the grill is the timer, and 0.03 at that point is about from your hub to the front wheel. So by then you're behind already, so you've wow. got the ground to make up. So that's less than a less than a tenth of a second and you're already a half a wheel behind. I was knackered just holding myself up in the yeah. gate. Yeah, so try and relax a little yeah. bit. I know it's really hard because you're, you're tense and you're trying to, you know, you're balancing on the pedals and you clipped in and everything, but try and just relax. Um, be on the balls of your feet, like you're going to start a running race. And the first movement, head and shoulders lead, is to move forwards. All right? Forwards into it first. Forwards into it, yeah. All right? And try, your, ha your, your head was sort of up, you were looking at I the gate. I was looking down there. Right, try and just move your eyes up. When it says, riders ready, watch. Move your eyes up to the lights. Okay. Your head's in a good position then to go down the hill. Okay. After I learned how to do the start gates, I thought it'd be better if I looked at the rest of the track with John. Wait. Right, the first straight out of the gate. Yep. Think I've nailed it. Yep. Well, <laughs> getting there. A bit more practice, I reckon. Yep. First straight. Now, all that speed, I reckon jump, jump, and then manual, roller, roller. Uh, manual. Okay. Pump, pump, maybe? Yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon. I Play it safe, race speed, you yeah. know, you will carry that speed. Yeah, because I have actually tried jumping this and I cased it somewhere over here. Oh, was that you? All right. I think so. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it took all my energy, so I didn't want to do that. Yeah, you've got to carry as much speed as you can. So okay. a manual through here really worked the backside of the jump. Yeah. You've got one backside, the track's got 15, 20 backsides, yeah. so really use them. I like that saying. All right, so manual or roll, roller, manual pump, well, anyway. Manual this. Manual this. Pump. No jumping. <laughs> no? Well, the little one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talk about that. Let's go to the corner. Let's go there. First straight. <laughs> First massive corner. Look at that. It's pretty big. So, for me, I've been pumping, pumping. Get a good pump in here. But I'm in the middle and I go up quite high and then drop in quite late. I feel like I'm going to get pushed out doing that. Yeah, I think that's your body position on the bike, okay. Blake. You know, again, it's that sort of hanging off the back, dirt yeah. jumpy style. You've got to get really forwards on the bike, really yeah. attack the corner. Yeah. So we want that outside pedal down, inside pedal up, looking at the exit, yeah. and you'll get around the corner quicker, so okay. you won't go up as high. Yeah, because I tend to drift up. Yeah. I chill in a big burn and yeah, a dirt yeah. jump. It's like being at the skate park, <laughs> eh? Is, yeah. So really attacking, you know, assuming you've got the whole shot with that yep. amazing gate. Yep. Um, really tucking in towards that white line, cover that inside. In that white line down yeah. there. Yeah, when you get to the whole shot line, you can start opening it up. You've got to look through that corner and then start opening it up, get on the okay. gas. But yeah, that try not to go too high. Line. Yeah, the white line. Ah. Yeah. Well, hopefully you'll be first there then. This is a section, look at this. Yeah. Multiple lines. Ready for the pro? Uh, no. No, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go left. This, okay. this yeah. one looks incredibly out of my pay grade. It's quite big. It's massive. Frankway size. All right, last straight. Yep, nearly there. <laughs> nearly there. The finish line is that white line there. That's right. How and the hell 
I know what I'm gonna feel like. I'm gonna feel absolutely buggered. <laughs> <laughs> Any tips here? Well, they're big mountains, really. I mean, it's a rhythm section, but they're pretty big, aren't they? They are very big. This is a manual. That's a nice manual. Well, Got to pump this last one. This last yep. double here? Yeah, that one, and then pump through this. And then the lunge and of life. And then pedal like you can through the line with a lunge. And then Whatever legs you've got left, you use them. Cool. Two. Two legs. <laughs> Fair pen. All right. Let's get on the bike and practice these manuals. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> bonk. Yeah. That was a bonk. That was a bonk. <laughs> Manual bonk. Try again. Yeah, we should pump that one. Sorry? We should pump that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of the wind pushing me. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yeah. Good call on the wind. The wind's like pushes you. Yeah, it's it's sort of it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. The pump it. Pump pump. Get a crank in here. That would be a manual because it's behind the berm, maybe? Yeah, manual up, or even just manual into the berm, one or the other. Right, you said manual in, I was like, oh, it's a bit windy. You said, okay, go for the pump. Well, then I just manualed it. You've nailed it. And then that felt all right. I mean, it depends. If you if you get blocked in the second corner, you might need to be pumping it. Yeah. If you've got power. a clean run, you yeah. can do it. But you've got to be looking over the front, get that yeah. wheel over the top of nice. the jump. I pedaled there. You did. Did that. Very good. Pump that. Yep. Kind of messed up the manual there. You were, you were celebrating, weren't I you? I was celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> So, was this good? Mate, it was incredible, thank you so much. I, all, like I've, I can pump, and we've done videos on the channel about pumping, but this, it just, you need to pump. Like, if you don't have that technique, you have no hell and chance of doing this. And it's great, you know, like you see on other tracks, whether it's dirt jump or other stuff, there's pump bumps on yeah. the way into big, big doubles. Yeah and uh, big trick jumps and that. It just gives you that speed, doesn't it? it but does. this, of course, is, is the school, isn't it? Yeah. School this of pump. Is, it is. But all your bits that you've taught me on the, the gate, like, don't do gates. What I had there was literally the craziest crash course ever. And I'm uh, kind of comfortable. I haven't got it, but I'm comfortable with it. And then all the bits, you're like, manual this, you'll get speed, manual that. Thank you very much. Welcome. Good no, luck. Thank Good you. luck tomorrow. Tomorrow, right. Till tomorrow, we we'll see you there. Now I've learned the basics, I think it's time to go racing, but you're gonna have to wait until the next video for that one.